the new, the new UAE Employment Insurance Scheme, the one that has come to yet to come to, to effect in 2023. Most of the question or most of the comments I've been having in the comment section is that when it is when is it starting? By the way, who is not eligible for that scheme according to, to the reports that we have? Remember, when we are talking about the new UAE Insurance Employment Scheme that is going to come into effect in 2023 this scheme is aimed at compensating or giving a given cash amount of money to individuals who have lost their job you know in between that period when you are looking a transition of you looking for a new job uh, from an old job to a new job you you may not be employed at that time but you need something to take care of yourself so as per the current scheme or as per the scheme that is being introduced or is going to come into effect in 2023 according to the uae government is going to be catering for that situation by the way the question is who is eligible that is one question who is not eligible that second question and how is this scheme going to work that is the third question first of all the eligibility of this scheme all workers expatriates and all other workers in the private sector are part of this scheme that is according to the officials in the uae government that it is going to be introduced in such a way that that you will be entitled to pay in a yearly period that is what we're talking about that you'll be paying yearly but the idea is now right now that is still pending to be gazetted is how all employees are going to be paying that amount of money by that scheme remember that scheme is going to be worked with considering some particular insurance companies that are going to be approved by the government you will open up an insurance scheme or your company will open up an insurance scheme for you in that insurance company depending on how much you are going to pay but remember it is starting from 40 dirhams until 100 dirhams that is how much you can that is how the coverage of the scheme should be you can either say i can afford 40 dirham or you can say i can afford 100 dirham that is pa 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 pa, pa your heavy of of, of, of take or how much you are supposed to contribute that is by the UAE officials or by UAE government so what does it mean what does it mean that all the people in the private sectors all workers in the private sectors are eligible to this scheme and it's going to be compulsory for all workers in the UAE coming 2023 that is by the UAE officials so our question of concern is who are those people who are not eligible? Yes, well, we understand the scheme is starting in 2023. How it is going to be running, it is just going to be the government decision. Either your employee will automatically be deducting your money to the insurance company, or you will be given a mandate to open up an insurance company for yourself. But remember, something that you still need to know, that in case you are terminated out of your job that insurance scheme will still continue to run it will still continue to cover you until when your contract was supposed to end let's say for example you you were employed in that company for two years and your scheme you open up an employment insurance scheme which is going to cover you in the period when you don't have a job and that contract is going to end in 2024 that means that scheme will have to move until 2024 and you will be still be you still be mandated to take up that money unless otherwise the two of you the employee and the employer agreed both of you to cancel out the scheme in the insurance company that is part of all the information we have but how the money will be submitted or how it is going to operate we're still waiting for the directive that will be the information that will be coming from the UAE government that either your employee will be submitting your money directly from your salary or you yourself you'll be paying the money directly by yourself 
However, something that we need to let you know, much as it is eligible, much as it is for all the people in the private sector, there are some people that are not entitled to this scheme. One of the people, those people who are investors in the UAE are not entitled or are not eligible to what we call unemployment insurance scheme. In, that is coming into effect in 2023. If you are an investor in the UAE, you are not eligible for that scheme. Then we are looking at juveniles, people, juveniles, juveniles that are under the age of 18 years are not eligible for that employment scheme. Remember, when we are talking about juveniles of eight, uh, 18 years, we are, this is the age concept of people who are not yet approved to work. They are not eligible to work in the UAE. So meaning that they are not part of the scheme. Then also, another group of people that is not eligible to the new UAE insure, um, unemployment insurance scheme are uh, what you call domestic workers as per the UAE government. For all those people that are working in the domestic, as working as part of the domestic workers. When you look at domestic workers, it is quite a very big list in the UAE. So you must make sure that you find out if your profession of, uh, falls in what you call the domestic work category, then you are not part of that scheme. Then also another group is a people who are working on what we call the contract, on people who are working on what we call the temporary basis. Temporary basis that you are not, temporary basis, permanent basis, you are not eligible for that scheme according to the UAE government. Hope I've answered the question well. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. But remember, it makes from the next question. And if it's your first time come across this channel, please consider subscribing and supporting this channel by clicking that notification bell. You'll always be updated whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.